So I had this guy reach out to me on Instagram this week and he asked me two questions. He said, one, what makes a great designer? And I thought about the question and I thought of it kind of bigger than that. You know, I said, what makes a great entrepreneur? You know, a great designer is one thing, but what makes a great entrepreneur? And the answer is simply this, communication. The quality of your communication will determine the quality of your business and your life, more importantly. If you can communicate effectively, clearly, and in a relevant way, through storytelling, so we're, we're fascinated by stories. So if you can resonate with someone by telling a compelling story that's relevant, that'll get a point across quickly, you're on your way to a successful life, successful business, because the communication is key. You know, years back, I used to get so frustrated when, when, when clients would, you know, respond in certain ways or... Um, you know, I'm working, I'm collaborating on a project and, and I'm thinking that it's not going the way I want it to go. And I realized, well, am I communicating clearly enough to this person? So I take a step back and I say, well, all right, this is what's happening. Why is this happening? Okay. Because maybe I said this. All right. So let me go back and fix it and articulate myself in a way that will help the situation for both parties because it's always got to be a win-win, right? So communication is key. It will determine it'll determine your profitability, the success in your life, the success in your business, the whole nine yards. So focus on communicating to the outside world effectively. And also, pay attention to the way you're communicating with yourself. Because if you constantly are talking down to yourself or thinking in a negative manner, that's only going to come out into the real world. So you better pay attention to the way you're thinking and, and talking to yourself. Super important. So the next question he asked me was this, what was, what's one thing you wish you knew when you first started your business? <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot I wish I knew when I first started my business. You know, one is the, the power of, of mentors and coaches. You know, I never really, I went a solid eight years of my business trying to figure it all out on my own. And that was a, a very, very rough ride. There was super high points and there were super low points. But I wish I had a coach to have kind of guided me and directed me in the right, right, right way, kind of give me a blueprint or help me, you know, map my way to success. I never had that. So knowing the power of of mentors and coaches is 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 super important and if you don't have one and you're feeling lost i totally recommend you seek out a coach or mentor to help you on your journey because that's what it is it's a journey but the second thing that i wish i realized way back was how i look at money when i looked at money back in the day the more I made, I thought, the happier I would be. But the funny part about it is when I would hit a goal, it just satisfied me for a little bit, for a few days, and then it was gone. And then that, that goal wasn't good enough. There's nothing wrong about, you know, once you hit a goal, raising the bar. I get that. But to let money dictate your happiness... I was way off course, way off course. 
Now the way I look at money is pretty simple. One, it's not going to make me happy at the end of the day. And two, it's just there to keep score. So when I look at, when I'm looking at my books and I realize that we had a tremendous month, I go back and I look at all the things I did that month and focus on what those things were and I replicate them. And then I start to have another banging month, right? But then if I have a slow month, I reflect back and I look at and I say, what did I do this month that made me get these results? And nine times out of 10, it's what I didn't do that made me get those, those numbers. At the end of the day, the money's there to keep score. When you have banging months, you know you're doing something right. When you're having low months, take a look at what you're not doing and take action and make sure that you start doing the things you need to do on a consistent basis so that your business isn't like this. It's like this.